Hey, what's happening guys? Rod J back again. So I'm taking a look at one tonight from Dogfish Head off the East Coast. This is their Indian Brown. This is a brown IPA kind of hybrid. Comes in at 7.2% ABV. 50 IBU on the label. It makes the comment. Our boisterous brown ale meets well hopped IPA is brewed with aromatic dark malt, organic brown, sugar, and dry hop liberally for your pleasure. Not nothing else really much on the label. Uh, just has them, you know, out of Milton, Delaware, and then um, just kind of your government warning on the other side. But it's standard dogfish bottle. Let's get it into a glass and see what this baby has to offer. Now for this one. I'll actually be using one of my snifter glasses. I can tell you right now that off the pour, as you can see, it's away from me. I'm already getting the malts coming out very nicely. And this is one I've heard some good things about in the past, but for whatever reason, never picked it up. I'm now starting to pick up some of the hops. Again, not even trying. They're just coming out of the glass so nicely. And there's the bottle there. Take a look at it. Nice dark brown color. Head itself was about two finger when it poured. Now it's about one finger. So it is breaking down a little quicker. Definitely sitting like kind of a mocha type color. Very nice aroma. Definitely get the malts getting like a caramel type feel. Nice sweetness coming out. You do get some of the hops in there as well. But definitely more of the malt forward. Which you would expect to have from a brown ale. You're definitely picking up here. Really decent looking. I'm trying to see if I get a light behind it. Not really penetrating that all, so it can't really pick up the carbonation inside. A little bit of a toffee in there as well. But you can see now it's uh, about a half of a finger. So as far as it tastes, very smooth, nice feel, texture, it's very nice, not uh, watery by any means. On the aftertaste, I'm really getting a lot of that nice flavor coming back, kind of a roastiness. It's really opening up in the mouth nicely, giving a nice little mouth feel there. Get a little bit of that caramel in the taste from the malts as well. Goes down with a little bit of a throat scratching on the back end, but very smooth. Nice sting to the tip of the tongue. Nice flavors enveloping the mouth. Kind of keeping all that nice roastiness that you expect to get, like with the brown ale, right in there. Not getting as much of the dry hop experience on the taste as much. It's really getting drowned out by a lot of that from the uh, the malts that were used. But a very pleasant beer. Definitely plays more to being like that brown ale than the IPA. Although, they, like I said, they kind of have it as a hybrid. It actually comes together very nicely. You feel a little bit of that warm uh, inside. A little bit of a slight bit, you can that little booziness, but not overly done by any means. I'm really digging that roastiness, though, of the uh, the malts that are being displayed here. Uh, if Hillbilly sees this one, not Hillbilly, I'm sorry, if Backwoods Billy sees this one, he's right there with Dogfish Head, so I'm sure he'll comment on it as well. But a very pleasant beer from them. Another good one that would go with like a cigar. So yeah, getting my beer on with the Dogfish Head Indian Brown. Definitely one I would say to pick up. If you've had this before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of it. I think it really delivers very nicely. It's definitely what I would consider a good choice type beer. Um, and so I would definitely say pick it up if you like it, especially if you like brown ales. Thanks again for swinging by. Check out another video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you haven't done that. And I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.